Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we're exploring the role and importance of the Muses in Greek mythology. The Muses were said to be the goddesses of inspiration in literature, science and the arts. They were known as inspirational and infinite sources of knowledge embodied in music, poetry and various arts. The Muses were nine in number and they were said to be the daughters of the titanite Mnemosyne and the leader of the Olympians, Zeus. In Greek mythology, they were often invoked at the beginning of lyrical poems and songs, such as the Homeric poems, the Odyssey, and the Iliad. Sing in me, muse, and through me, tell the story of that man skilled in all ways of contending, the wanderer, harried for years on end. Classical writers set the god Apollo as the leader of the muses. In one myth, they acted as judges during a music contest between the god and the satyr Marcius. According to the Greek poet Hesiod, every single one of the nine muses protected and symbolized a different art. Cleo was the muse of history. She was often represented holding a book that contained stories from the past. Her name meant to celebrate or to recount. Her emblems were either a book, scrolls, or a cornet, and sometimes all three together. Calliope was the muse of epic poetry and eloquence. According to the Roman poet Ovid and the Greek poet Hesiod, she was the chief of all muses. She had two famous sons with the king of Thrace, Orpheus, a legendary musician, poet, and prophet, and Linus, an impressive musician and master of eloquent speech. Calliope's emblems were a writing tablet, a stylus, and a lyre. Erato was the muse of love poetry and lyric poetry. Her name meant desired or lovely. Her emblem was the cithara, an ancient Greek musical instrument similar to the lyre. Euterpe was the muse symbolizing music and songs. Her name meant delight in Greek and her emblem was an aulos, an ancient Greek wind instrument said to be created by the satyr Marcias. Thalia was the muse of comedy and idyllic poetry. Her name meant to flourish. According to pseudo Apollodris, Thalia and Apollo were the parents of the Corybantes, the armed dancers that worshipped the goddess Cybele. Her emblem was a comic mask. Melpomene was the muse representing tragedy, although initially she was the muse of chorus. Her name comes from the Greek verb melpo, which meant to celebrate with dance and song. Her emblem was either a tragic mask or a sword. In Greek and Roman poetry, poets and singers often invoked Melpomene so that they might create beautiful lyrical phrases. Polyhymnia was the muse of hymns but also of sacred poetry, dance, and eloquence. Her name means the one of many hymns. Her emblem is a veil or grapes. In the classical era, she was named the muse of religious hymns. Trapiscore is the muse of dance and chorus. Her name meant delight in dancing, and her emblem is a lyre or a plectrum. She's also the mother of the sirens and Parthenope in particular. Parthenope was a siren that casted herself into the ocean when her song failed to entice the hero Odysseus. The last muse was Orania. She represented astronomy. Her name meant heavenly, and she is often associated with universal love and the Holy Spirit. During the Renaissance, Orania was also considered to be the muse of Christian poets. Her emblem was either a compass or a globe. Overall, in Greek mythology, the Muses were the embodiment and patronesses of a multitude of disciplines including philosophy, music, mathematics, astronomy, and especially art, drama, and inspiration. That's all for today's video. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you like it and I'll see you all very soon for the next video.